It was the idea of our brigade commander to create this unit. We were looking for specialists in this area. When the group was assembled, the brigade provided dogs, and we went to the dog training center in the city of Odessa, at the base of the International Police Corporation of Public Security. We started with a minimum obedience course, then there was a protective guard service course, and the main focus was on the search for explosives. If the handler and his dog don't have contact, it will lead to nothing. It is round-the-clock work. It is about the dog's health and vaccinations. It is about the game. First of all, there has to be a team, a team of a sinologist and his dog. If you look here, there is a tin of food for people, for the military. We have tied up the smell of TNT, hexagen and such like. We do that so that the dog is not distracted by the food, but can sense the smell of explosives. As you can see, there are a lot of dry ration packages here, left in the forest stations after the fighting. We also tied the smell to this one, and the dog then determines whether it is mine or not. Go, search! Go, search! All right. Good job. Well done. Good job. Good, yeah. Today our dogs can work regardless of the weather, regardless of the place where they have to work. They will fulfill their direct duties there. That's it, let's go! Okay, well done, good dog. Okay, good dog. Great job. There is a smoke bomb in this case. Dogs can also feel them very well with their noses. This is an antipersonal mine. There are different types of explosives here and a dog can sense more than 10 types of smells. When we were finishing our training at the end of October, there was an international seminar held under the leadership of our dog training guru, Valery Borisovich Vysotsky. He held our final exams, and then this seminar turned into the Ukrainian championship among dog handlers and dogs involved in the search for explosives. The idea to make a training center for training dog handlers and dogs arose in close cooperation between the International Police Corporation of Public Security and our brigade, under the leadership of our brigade commander. On behalf of the entire group, I would like to thank all the people who brought this idea to life, all the volunteers, all our friends, our teachers, who approached us in the best way possible. And most importantly, everyone was interested in doing this project from scratch. I hope that when we do make the training center, enthusiastic and passionate people will be involved in this work.